If you ever fail in life, don't blame an next man you know. Blame yourself. So a few years ago, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna take my electrical knowledge to the next level. So I was a qualified electrician and I decided, you know what? I wanna become an inspector and tester. So I enrolled for the inspection and testing course. Now I heard lots of rumors, oh, it's difficult. Bear man fell. 70% fail rate, you know. But I decided, you know what? I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna go for it. So boom, before I started the course, there's one particular book that I knew about. And that book was the textbook that pretty much governs that whole course. My tutors told me, even before you start this course, get a copy of this book and read it every other day, minimum. So of course you get the book and for a couple of months, yeah, you read that every other day. So eventually after starting the course and being on it for a couple of months, I'm like, he's got time to be reading this book every day, every other day. Get comfortable, think man know the tip. Cool. Had my little multiple choice exam come up. Ace the exam. The exam was like 45 minutes. Man was out of the exam room within 15 minutes. Got like 95%. My other classmates, they done well as well. Everyone passed that exam. It was one of them exams, you couldn't really fail it. Everyone's all happy. Yeah, yeah, man, we passed the exam. Yeah, boom, yeah. We know our thing. Yeah, cool. So that multiple choice exam, that was a minor. It was two written exams that we needed to do. Part one and part two. They were tough. During the build up to these exams, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of reading that book. Not doing that every other day minimum as what was recommended by my tutor, but man's kind of reading the book because I think I know everything at this point. I think I know enough at least. I think, yeah, I know enough to pass in it. Man don't need to read that book every other day. So it's exam day now and I've got my written exam part one to do. So I've gone down to my college after work, gone into the exam room and the invigilator said to us, look, it's a two hour exam. You've got 40 questions to complete. If you finish the 40 questions before the two hours are up, you're free to go. Or you can spend that time checking over your answers. So boom, man's flew through the exam, going through all the questions. There were questions on the exam paper that I knew I didn't know the right answer to. Man's gone through the exam, yeah, yeah, yeah feeling confident. I've done enough to pass. Finished the exam within about an hour and 10 minutes. Should have spent that time checking over my answers, not just once, but checking them over two, three times, utilizing that two hours. Nah. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 I just checked over the answers one time, out the door. So I'm thinking, yeah, man got this in the bag, innit? Yeah, like, it might not be, you know, a strong pass, might not be a grade A, but it's enough to pass the exam. Now there was a two week waiting period to find out our result. But in between that time, we had a class. So everyone's come back from the exam and we're in class and everyone's like, yeah, 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 man. Exam was, you know, it was a bit tricky, but yeah, we passed that exam, innit? Yeah, man flew through the team. That's what everyone said. Everyone thinks that they're gonna pass this exam. A couple weeks later, man's called up my tutor to find out my result. You right, Roger? It's Jay, I'm just calling up to find out my result. You right, Jay? How you doing? Yeah, man, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, just bear with me whilst I get your exam result. I can all hear the man going through the paperwork. Okay, Jay, 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 Jay. Sorry, mate, but unfortunately this time you've been unsuccessful. You what? Yeah, it says you didn't pass. No way. I'm serious. I don't believe you. There's no way I could have failed that exam. I understand that I didn't know every single question on that exam, but there's no way I could have failed it. I couldn't believe it. How could I fail an exam? I never failed the exam in my life. Now in school, obviously man had like ICT and RE and yeah, <laughs> for some, some of them exams, I didn't even turn up. 
some of them exams I failed them like you know modern foreign languages I think even French I didn't even turn up for the French exam yeah man failed some exams like that but I didn't care about those subjects it didn't matter to me but any exam previously prior to that I've always passed I've never failed the exam before no driving test none of them things that always passed I couldn't believe it a couple days later the day of work I went down to my college I needed to see this result for myself and there it was that man looked me blue in my face you failed couldn't believe it man telling me the resets are in five months time you know around December I'm thinking fuck it now but the part two exam was in about three weeks time so in between that time I'm still going to college because I need to prep myself for this part two exam. Met up with some of my college buddies in my class and they're like, yeah, they failed it as well. But check the difference between me and them, man. I didn't blame no one. You see that man there? Oh, the lecture shit. He didn't teach us properly. Hold on a minute. When you pass that first exam, the easy multiple choice, man in here, no complaints. Everyone was cool. At that time, <laughs> the tutor done his thing. As soon as you fail, ah, oh, it's the tutor's fault. He's a shit tutor. Man will come up with all type of excuses, you know. Ah, oh, the tutor's shit. Blood, if you're watching this right now, you got a teacher, tutor, or lecturer. If they are shit, they're not giving you the education you need. You have a duty of care, a responsibility to yourself to take it to senior management. Go to whoever your teacher or your lecturer's manager is and say, listen, I'm not getting the education. I'm not getting the tuition. I'm not getting the lectures that I feel I need to pass these exams. Oh, that question didn't come up on the exam. More than a minute. You've done tons of mock exams. You had never had no complaints then. The mock exams are exactly the same as the real thing. If those style of questions weren't coming up on the mock exams, why were you not bringing it to your tutor's attention? But ultimately, the reason why we failed, the reason why I failed, the man then told us from even before day one, you know, before we started the exam, you see this book, make this book your life. Read it every other day. At worst, at best you should be reading that book every day. Look at half an hour, you know. You don't have to spend two, three hours reading this book. Look at half an hour every day. But we thought, nah, ah, oh, yeah, do that for a month and then, no, we, we, we know it all. We don't need to do it. The reason why we failed, the reason why I failed, didn't take the exam serious enough. You know, after that, man sat the part two exam. Yeah, man took that exam serious. Luckily, I passed that one. But I still had to reset the part one. Five months wait, you know. I'm thinking to myself, fuck. Five months waiting, you know, every damn day up until the exam. Five months every day. I'll say bar probably five days because I had stuff going on or whatever. I revised every single day for a minimum of half an hour. I'll be on my lunch breaks at work. Man in Tinseltown, you know, revising this book. Coming up with my own revision scheme. There's one Caribbean place I used to go to on a Sunday, all you can eat buffet. Man used to sit in there for an hour revising. So for that five month period, bar about four or five days, every single day. Man went into that exam prepared. But man see exams like it's the battlefield. I'm going to war. 
man need to arm myself <laughs> yeah with the knowledge that gives me the confidence to pass those exams a man ain't gonna go out into the war zone without a weapon so a man used a weapon of knowledge went into that exam remember it like it was yesterday went into that exam in vigilator you must have saying yeah you know 40 questions two hours you can leave before Not even a minute early did I leave. Went through all the questions. Every single question had an answer. Whether it's right or wrong, man's putting down something. Went through all the questions. Right to the end of the exam. Started again. Went through all the questions. Right to the end of the exam. Start again. Until the time ran out. I was not about to leave that exam room without feeling that I put my all into it. Okay. <laughs> I'm not having a repeat of part one where man's walking out thinking, yeah, man. And then you fail. So at least if I failed it again, at least I knew, yeah, man put in as much as I could. You never want to fail because you didn't make enough effort. Anyway, boom. Man had to wait until after Christmas to get the result. Because these times when I took the exam, it was in December, so just before Christmas. Man's called out the college. Now, apparently we need to go in to get our results, but my tutors then weren't in, so they could, I couldn't get the result from them. And uh, the, the woman said to me, yeah, you need to come back on, on Monday. I think I called up on a Friday. You have to come back on Monday. I said, please, listen, like, if you can give me the exam result over the phone, um, I would appreciate that. Yeah, man's been studying hard, waiting long, yeah, to get these exam results after I sat this exam. And she was like to me, all right, cool. I'm pleased to say that you're going to receive a certificate in the post. Dumb dumb over here. Does that mean I passed? Well, yeah, it does. <laughs> but yeah, that was a good one. Only reason why I failed that exam was because of me. If you're failing your exams right now, it's either your lecture's crap and you're not bringing it to anyone's attention or you ain't studying hard enough. And even if your lecture is crap, there's so many textbooks out there. All your lecture is doing, really, is just reading off a textbook. The only advantage of having a lecture, instead of just a piece of text in front of you, is you can ask that lecturer questions. You can't ask a textbook questions. If you're failing the exam, you need to take action. You either take it to senior management, or you need to be studying hard. If you've got an exam and it's based on this textbook here, there's no excuse to fail. All the information's in that textbook. Man can't be bothered to read and study the textbook. But man's got time to be on Instagram. Checking out Gal's profile. It made no sense. Some certain people fail their driving test five, six times. Oh, the examiners, them, they don't like me. I've jumped in the car with them when they've eventually passed their driving test. Can't fucking drive. And they wonder why they fail so many times. Them driving examiners, they know once you jump in that car, put your foot on that clutch, slap the car into first gear and pull off, they know whether or not they were the driver. And if you're a shit driver, that examiner's thinking to himself, nah, you're a hazard to the roads. So unless you're able to pull a rabbit out of your ass and perform miracles, I failed you already. I know certain people, they told their son, when you go for your driving test, wear a shirt. Wear a shirt, because you're black. Don't go there wearing a tracksuit bottom and Nike trainers. You want to come across well so that the examiner don't fail you from the beginning because you're black. What type of bullshit that up there? Examiners don't give a fuck about your colour. Can this person drive? Yes or no? 
white man wear a fucking shirt to a driving test. But this is a job interview. This is that type of mentality. This is why people fail. Because you go into it thinking that you're going to fail. And you use a dumb excuse. Oh, because of the colour of my skin. That's why I can't pass this exam. Bullshit. All the examiners in the driving test care about can this person drive? They don't care about what the colour of your skin if you're wearing a Versace suit. They don't care about none of that. Is this person qualified to be on the road? Yes or no? Are they going to be more of a problem than a solution to the traffic and the maniacs on the road? Honestly, I've heard it all. You couldn't make it up. I, w I wish I was making this stuff up. There's some real idiots out there. I know someone, they ain't achieved anything in their life. Do you know what the excuse is? When they were younger and they were in college, they were on a particular course. Their older brother, spiteful little prick. You know what he done? He decided, you know what? I'm going to take your coursework and destroy it. The whole year, you know. You had to put a whole year into that course, but blood, sweat and tears, gone, in one go, gone. They didn't decide, you know what, although it's going to take me a long time to redo the coursework, I'm going to throw in a towel, jacket, give up. I get it, it will be hard to bounce back. From that, because you're thinking to yourself, bruh, I spent a year on this and someone's just destroyed my coursework. I get it. God forbid I didn't back up my Microsoft Word documents associated with my book. And someone teeth my laptop. And I had to redo my book from scratch. It would be tough. It had to be done, man. In life, sometimes you're going to take one step forward and then you're going to get knocked back two steps. A man could burn down my whole yard. God forbid I didn't have no insurance, so I couldn't get a penny back for the house. A man will start grinding again to get back an even better house. Stay wise.